the three critical factors that you must overcome in order to grab attention, drive traffic, and convert that traffic into a sale or action. We'll be covering that as well as the nine second goldfish rule, and I've got some really super exciting information I can't wait to share with you concerning the Marketing Mayhem event taking place at the end of August 2014. It's all coming up in this episode of MarketingEasyStreet.com. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, and as mentioned in this video, I want to share with you insights that I've gained over the last seven or so years, since 2008, when I became, uh, became an informational marketer, and when I began to really learn about you know, marketing for myself, building a brand, building a personal brand. And when I began in 2008, I had a very, very sliver, small personal brand. And as I released new products, I began to identify how I've really added a tremendous amount of value that only I could add. And I started doing things in a way that only I could do. And it was because I was really tapping into that which makes me unique to the world. I was tapping into that small sliver of unique individual uh, self and I was putting that into my products. And I've been also you know, putting that into my marketing and my personal brand. And it's been powerful in fighting the three killers of the internet dream. And those three items are distraction, competition, and commoditization. And as I said, once you really start to understand what your personal brand is, and once you personally brand yourself, and add that into your products, and your services, and in your recommendations that you make when you make an affiliate sale, once you add in your personal brand, it's like a shield of those three evil things. So let's talk about them. Number one, distraction. We live in a crazy, mixed up, busy, competitive world with hundreds of thousands of tweets being sent out daily and Facebook updates that just keep coming. And email after email and how do you break the cycle? How do you grab attention? When it's been uh, said, according to Sally Hogshead, that the average online uh, visitor has the attention span of eight seconds. Or that equivalent to Mr. Goldfish. You've got eight seconds to grab attention. You've got eight seconds to really let people know what's in it for them, how you're gonna add value, and why your information is different. And this is why a personal brand is powerful. We'll talk about more of that and how to tap into that as we move forward, okay? Number two is competition. It's not just busy. There's not just hordes of information being published by the minute. It's competitive, and the consumers online have choices to make. If they're looking for an SEO product and you're the SEO guy and that's about it, you're competing in the SEO arena. It's competitive. There's not a lot of room to move. Instead, the personal brand, when you create a personal brand and you add into your SEO course that which makes it unique and what makes you unique, you separate yourself from that uh, marketplace and you rise above it and you no longer have to compete on price and that's again why personal brand is so important because it separates you from the competition there can only be one brian g johnson there's only one guy that can create the kind of memes that i create because it's me i've dialed into that which makes me unique and when you don't do that, when you don't understand what your personal brand is, you are commoditized. You are in a system where you're competing uh, with price. You're trying to look, well, how can I add more value? I'll make a bigger course. I'll update it more. That's not where you want to be. It's not even as fun. Instead, uh, you want to dial into that unique individual sense that makes you you. Let's talk about it. What, what does that mean, Brian? Do I have to become crazy like you? Do I have to have the goofy haircut? Heck no. You need to be more of you. Whatever that is. I have worked with Aiden Booth, and I'll talk a little bit more about Aiden in a minute, for a long time. Aiden's very calculated. Aiden uh, likes analytics. 
He is the analytics guy, and he's really good at that. He is uh, the person that's on top of details. I'm the passionate guy. I'm the guy that can make you smile, giggle. I can make you feel good, and I can use that to my advantage, and it's all throughout my branding. So don't think you need to become like me or somebody else. Don't think for a minute that you need to become something that you're not. Instead, what you want to do is you want to understand uh, and really think about what do you love about digital marketing? If you love making videos but you hate writing, you know, maybe slack off, do a little bit of writing, but create a lot of videos and get good at video. Be the really awesome video person. And then Add that into your personal brand. Figure out what it is about your personality that makes you unique and dial into that. You know, I mentioned Aiden Booth. And while I talked a little bit today about personal branding and how to stand out from the competition, how not to have to worry about the goldfish factor, this is something I'm going to be going into a whole lot more. Personal branding. I'm going to be doing it live in Orlando, Florida on the 27th. In fact, I'll be with Aiden Booth. We're going to do a one-day boot camp and we're going to really lay it out. We're going to be talking about mindset and a life by design, how to really focus in and, and, and understand what it is exactly you want in your business. So you can move forward and create a business that you love. I love my life. It's simple. I don't have a lot of employees. It's me. I don't have a lot of overhead and I make a whole lot of money because of it. Design, baby. Life by design. We'll be talking about that. We'll be talking about business plans. We'll be talking about traffic generation and how to use Facebook to drive traffic, to uh, gain partners, to connect with people. Uh, so much more. And I want to let you know that, uh, like I said, Aiden and I, we're going to be having this one day intensive boot camp. And if you're thinking of going to the Marketing Mayhem event, then check back in a day or so because we're going to have a tremendous opportunity where you can be a part of our one day boot camp, which will happen one day prior to the event, the Marketing Mayhem event. And you can join us and get involved, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So if you're already going to Mayhem, you're going to want to check it out because it's going to be easy for you to take this in. It's going to be extremely affordable, ridiculous, <laughs> and you're not going to miss it. I guarantee you're going to walk away with lots of information that's going to be able to help you move forward and crush the end of 2014 and really set yourself up for an amazing 2015. Brian G. Johnson, and I hope you found this information on, you know, personal branding and tapping into that pixie dust minutia that is you. What is it about you that makes you unique? Tap into that, add it to your branding, compete there because guess what? Nobody compete and do what you do. Hey, Brian G. Johnson, people don't fail at internet marketing. They simply give up before the magic happens. Cheers.